Hello and welcome back to another Pokemon Theory. Today's Pokemon Theory is contest entry number two and it's hosted by If It Bakes. This individual has addressed the question on why water Pokemon can create so much water in such a confined space. Really, think about it for a minute. How does a tiny turtle use a move like Surf or Hydro Pump or Water Gun expelling gallons of water while being a tiny turtle? If this interests you, stay tuned to today's video. And remember, you're voting with your likes, so if you think this video Video should win, make sure to click like and share it to a lot of people. If you'd like to be a part of this contest and enter, you can check out my contest entry video, which outlines and lists all the rules. But other than that, let's just jump right into today's video. Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Theory, the show where Professor Oak really isn't a professor, and going to the gym doesn't mean pumping iron. Unless you're in Duford Town, which is a literal gym. Is there any way this little turtle can spray out this much water? All right, guys, I'm not some scientist. I don't have a degree in science. I had some chemistry in college and high school, but that's about it for me. I am just a guy that cooks on the internet, and I cook a lot on the internet. And cooking at its most basic is just mixing ingredients together, adding some heat, and having several chemical reactions happen. So, I guess I'm kind of a chemist. But I digress, and I'm going to go ahead and apologize. This is going to be a little bit sciencey and a little bit mathy, and I have rounded some of the numbers just so they're easy to deal with. Let's get into it. Now I'm using Squirtle because he was my introduction to water type Pokemon and I feel like everybody that's played understands this. And he's kind of small so it keeps the numbers low. For all of these examples, I'm gonna assume that half of Squirtle's body weight can hold water. And Squirtle weighs about 20 pounds so that's gonna be 10 pounds of water. 10 pounds of water is gonna give us just more than one gallon. And there is no way that Hydro Pump is only using that much water. So a water jet is a machine that uses high pressure water to cut through basically anything. And they can use up to 5 gallons per minute. So we've got to figure out how to get more water in our little turtle. The answer is pretty simple. It's hydrogen gas. If we take that same 10 pounds of Squirtle we can get 17 gallons of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is used commercially for torches and it's readily available in containers up to 10,000 PSI. So the pressure issue here is not a big deal. So since a water molecule is H2O, we're just gonna do a one to one ratio here and we see that 17 gallons of hydrogen gas plus 17 gallons of O equals 34 gallons, right? That's already so much more feasible that Hydro Pump uses 34 gallons. But we're not done because water broken up by mass is one part hydrogen gas to eight parts oxygen. So we add our 17 gallons of hydrogen gas to 119 gallons of O and get 136 gallons of water. That sounds like more than enough to make this quite plausible. I hear you though, those of you that paid attention in science class know that there's less than a half percent of hydrogen gas in the atmosphere. So where does it come from? We're going to take a look at the periodic table now and we're going to talk about some alkaline metals. Certain metals, alkaline in particular, react violently with oxygen, so much so that they will pull oxygen out of water releasing hydrogen gas. So I theorize that water type Pokemon may have some kind of metal in their skin that reacts with the water and then they absorb the hydrogen gas as it reacts. Oh, you know what else is made out of metal and also oxidizes? Steel, as in steel type Pokemon, as in the type that aren't very effective against water type. Some water type can even learn fire type moves and I think I can explain this with hydrogen also. So while hydrogen gas and oxygen can combine to make water, they also can combine to make hydrogen peroxide. 
And no, I'm not talking about the diluted stuff that's in your medicine cabinet. I'm talking about the pure, fiery stuff that launches rockets into space. I hear you. Hindenburg. Isn't hydrogen dangerous? Absolutely. Well, some water type Pokemon can learn. Explosion. Alright, I think we've established that any sane person would say that there is no way to fit enough water in a Pokemon like Squirtle to just perform a move like Hydro Pump. It's just not physically possible. And I think I've made a pretty good case for Hydrogen and how it could work and how it could also explain some other weird moves that water types can do. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and really appreciate y'all watching guys. Well, I think that theory was pretty good, despite some dramatic pauses there. I think uh, this person did a pretty good job constructing, developing, and editing their theory together. And if you do too, you should leave him a like and vote for his video to win the contest. But, all things considered, do you feel like water Pokemon are more than what they seem? They're not just giant jugs of water walking around with the ability to expel infinite water. They use much more science to do so. Leave your comments down in the section below. And I've been Heroes Pretomari, and I'm signing out. And hopefully, I'll see you back here soon again for another Pokemon Theory.